Android 12 is one of the biggest update ever in the history of Android that goes to complete a visual overhaul in terms of everything. The new system animations, notifications, system controls, brand new widgets and themes are eye pleasing which makes us try Android 12 right now. Now as of now, Android 12 is in beta and getting tested in most of the Pixel devices. Google has collaborated with some other Android manufacturers to run Android 12 beta natively. But what about the other users who are willing to try or install the Android 12 right now without any computer or root? Hey guys, my name is KSK Ryle. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Android 12 on any smartphone. Now I will be using a DSU method that helps in loading the Android 12 GSI as a part of the guest OS along with your current Android system. Now for this process, you don't need any computer or laptop to install Android 12. The only prerequisites of this video, now make sure your device has an unlocked bootloader. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to use my Redmi Note 10 Pro with an unlocked bootloader. And next up, uh, make sure your device has shipped with Android 10 or higher. And lastly, your device needs to support a dynamic partitions. Now to check whether your system supports dynamic partitions or not, download and install an application from the Play Store called a Treble Information. Now here you can see the treble and a vendor development kit status. Now if you scroll for a bit, there is an option called a dynamic partitions and make sure this is enabled by default. Now if all the requirements matched with your device, then there is a 100% of chance that your device is capable of running Android 12. Now for this process, we are not going to use any computer or laptop to install Android 12. Since we are using a DSU method, so this will do a magic for us to install Android 12 without damaging the current system. Now for those who don't know, what the heck is DSU? Now with Android 10, Google has introduced a feature called a DSU, uh, which stands for Dynamic System Update, uh, that actually downloads the Android 12 generic system image uh, bundled with a Google applications and loads into a separate partition. Now this way, each time you reboot the phone, you can tell the system to boot normally or load Android 12 GSI from dynamic partition. Now kinda you can say it's a dual boot. This eliminates all of the headaches of corrupting the actual Android and helps us try the latest and greatest of Android. Now let's get into the installation part of Android 12. Now as you can see, this is my Redmi Note 10 Pro running some custom ROM with the unlocked bootloader and also supports a dynamic partitions. Now on your phone, go to settings and choose about device and tap on the build number 7 times to activate the developer options. Now once it's done, look for the developer options under the system settings. Now inside developer settings, you will see an option called a DSU loader. Now go ahead and select this option and this will show the available GSI. By the time of recording this video, Android 12 is in developer beta. So I would pick the second option which contains a Google applications bundled with Android 12 GSI. Now, as soon as you select the GSI, it will immediately start downloading Android 12 in the background and load into a dynamic partition. Now, within the notification center, you will see a progress bar. Now, wait for some time until it gets finished downloading. Now, if in case you see any error as a DSU installation has failed, then make sure your device meets the requirements which I mentioned or check the link in the description for more information. Alright, as you can see the download has finished and you can see a persistent notification with two options restart and discard. Now keep in mind do not tap on a discard, uh, this will delete the newly created partition. Also the notification is persistent and will stay forever until you decide to remove Android 12 from the system. 
Anyway, to boot into Android 12, tap on the restart. Now that's it, now your system should boot into Android 12 from the other partition without damaging your current Android system. Now as you can see we are inside Android 12, now let me go ahead and show you the version and you can see Android 12. Now keep in mind this is a GSI and is not a fully optimized for any device and some functionalities like sound, phone calls may not gonna work and you cannot use it as your daily driver. Now let's talk about the working features. Now I can see my LTE and Wi-Fi are working properly. Also the native system navigation gestures are also working super fine. Now overall I would say Android 12 is going to change everything and you will definitely love it for sure. Now if you want to switch back to the original Android version, you can simply a click on the restart and this will boot your system into a main Android. Now using this persistent notification, you can switch back and forth between Android 12 and the current Android operating system hassle-free. So what do you guys think about it? So let me know in the comment section down below. So thanks for watching this video. It's been KSK Royal. I will see you in my next one.